Hi guys, this is just a quick review of Punnett Squares um, as you move on into Miss Ramez's Monsters project. Um, you're going to be doing a lot with um, genotypes and phenotypes, which are these definitions right here. And just as a reminder, genotypes are genes given to the offspring by the parents. All right, in this case, dad has a big B and a little b, mom has a big B and a little b. These are their genotypes and they pass those to their offspring. The phenotype is the, treat we, is the trait we actually see. So in this case, we're doing brown hair and blonde hair. So if you look at our combinations, three out of four offspring would all have brown hair. We'd have one out of the four offspring would get blonde hair because that's the only spot where we have two recessive genes working together. We have a dominant gene, which is the big B, and a recessive gene, which is the little b. All right? Dominant always wins, which is why three out of the four would have brown, but only one out of four would be blonde. Now, when it comes time for you to do your Monsters Punnett squares, you're going to do a lot of this in class, so Ms. Ramez um, will be there to help you. But I have done one for you, just an example. Our dominant trait is a round mouth. Our recessive trait is a square mouth. Now, when I did the coin flip, this is my combination. Dad had two dominant traits, so Dad had a round mouth. Mom had a dominant trait and a recessive trait, but she still had a round mouth as well. Now, in this case, when we do our combinations, and I'm going to show you how to do that, four out of four children, or 100%, would have a round mouth um, because both Mom and Dad have the dominant genes. So. Now, let's move over and let's do teeth. I'm going to take my coin, which if you see we can use a coin. You could have one that's heads or tails, but for me, what I decided to do was I put a sticker on a coin. I have a big B for dominant and a little b for recessive, just to make it as easy as possible. So I'm going to flip it, and I got a big B. So I'm working on dad right now. So his first trait is going to be he has a big B and a little b. Okay? Now I have to work on mom. She has a little b and a big B. Okay? So I flip my coin four times to get my genotypes for dad and mom. Now I have to combine them. The way to do that is you have to look B and B. That gives me the first box. Big B, little b gives me the second box. My third box, again, is big B, little b. And my last box is going to be little b, little b. So, in this particular case, whether or not they're going to have teeth, if we were to have four children, or four offspring, three of the four would more than likely have teeth. One out of four would have no teeth. So this one would be 75% chance of having teeth, and you'd have a 25% chance of having no teeth. So that's how that works. And you're going to do this for each of the traits. So I'm going to show you, again, we have one eye and three eyes. So I'm going to do my flips. So dad's going to be little b. Whoops, there's my coin. He's going to be big b, little b again. And then mom is going to be little b and big b again. All right, and don't worry about it. I mean, that's part of just flipping the coin, if that's what you end up with. So one eye or three eyes, we're going to run through again. Big B, big B. Big B, little b. Big B, little b. And little b, little b. And you're going to notice we're going to have the same kind of combination. So three out of four will have one eye. And you have one out of four has a chance to get three eyes. And you will need to show both the fraction and the percentage. So in this case, that's 75%, and this is 25%. It should get pretty easy by the time you're done. So we have one more trait to do, and that's going to be our hair and no hair. So we'll start with Dad. So he has a little b, and Dad's got little b, little b. I'm kind of scrunched my space here. But that's going to go there. And then for mom, she's got little b and big b. So mom's got big b 
little b. Now we're going to do our combinations. So we have big B, little b, big B, little b, all right, little b, little b, and little b, little b. So in this case, look at our combinations. We have two recessive genes, which means those could be no hair offspring. So in this case, we have two out of four could have hair, which is 50%. And we could have the possibility of two out of four having no hair, which is also 50%. So if you're an offspring for this trait, you could end up with, you have a 50-50 shot. You're going to have hair or not have hair. So now, in the Punnett square, these are our genotypes. The round mouth square nut mouth, those things are our phenotypes. So this is what we see, all right? So as you do this, if you don't finish in class and you're doing this at home and you can't remember exactly what you're supposed to do, go ahead and watch this YouTube video and it should help walk you and your parents through the process. All right, so thanks for listening and good luck.